During his time, Andy Warhol was the highest paid and most prolific commercial artist in New York. He was a leader of the pop art movement, which blurred the line between high and low forms of art through mass production techniques like photo reproduction and screen printing. Born into an Eastern European immigrant family in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, he successfully carved his place in New York City's modern art scene, becoming a darling of museums, art galleries, and even the press. Behind this iconic artist, here are the following interesting facts. Warhol's childhood illness introduced him to art and pop culture. When he was eight, he was bedridden due to a nerve disease called chorea, a neurological disorder characterized by jerky, involuntary movements affecting especially the shoulders, hips, and face. He spent his time at home absorbed in radio and film, learning of celebrity news and current events. During recovery, his mother, an artist and embroiderer, gave him regular drawing lessons. Warhol eventually went to an art college using whatever money his father left after his death. Warhol found beauty in familiar consumer goods. One of his iconic works is his Campbell's Soup Can series. It was said that he ate the soup for lunch every day for 20 years. Warhol also created a series featuring Coca-Cola. He considered it as a product that equalized humans in society. A poor and rich man's Coke are the same. This viewpoint about using everyday consumer products as subject matter in art earned Warhol his place in the pop art movement. He admired Marcel Duchamp's philosophy of mass-produced art. Warhol wished to paint like a machine and create art separate from his effort and emotion. He traced projected images and reproduced them with silk screens to create a mass-produced look. Warhol called his studio The Factory. He hired many assistants to further separate himself from his art. The factory eventually became his default space for creating mass-produced works and for hosting parties with celebrities and artist friends. He was one of the first artists to exhibit film. Warhol created around 650 experimental films, all lengthy and plotless. Many featured intimate yet universal themes such as sleep, kissing, and sex. One of his iconic films showed the Empire State Building in a static shot which lasted for hours. Other films featured mundane activities such as eating. Warhol shot a film of himself eating a burger from Burger King from start to finish. Warhol's signature look hid his physical flaws. To cover his balding head, Warhol wore wigs ranging from gray to silver with varying styles. To train his lazy eyes, he wore opaque glasses with pinholes to look through. He was often seen in public wearing sunglasses even during nighttime. He was almost killed by radical feminist Valerie Solanas. Solanas wrote the Scum Manifesto, which stands for Society for Cutting Up Men. Here, she revealed her aggressive anti-male viewpoints. In the late 1960s, she became a bit player in Warhol's New York factory scene and tried to convince him to produce her play. In 1967, she shot Warhol in the torso at his office after he repeatedly rejected the script she had written. Warhol had several surgeries and needed to wear a surgical corset for the rest of his life to help hold his organs in place. He was a devout Byzantine Catholic. 
Despite his seemingly public lifestyle, Warhol attended mass religiously and volunteered at homeless shelters. He was gay and was known to be associated with other gay personalities, but he claimed to be a virgin up to his death at the age of 58. Warhol had a permanent smell collection. Warhol believed that the sense of smell is one of the most important of human senses. He wished to document and trigger memories by using scents as time capsules. In his interviews, he revealed that he changed his perfume every three months. It was never revealed how many perfume bottles Warhol truly amassed during his lifetime. Some of the perfumes are now part of the collection at the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh. During his burial, a friend tossed a bottle of Estee Lauder perfume into his grave. Andy Warhol's artistic play on mainstream imagery made him one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. His embrace of popular culture immortalized him as a celebrity icon and arguably as the most important artist of the pop art movement. Thank you for watching Artlister, your source of information and inspiration to live a creative life. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this episode and subscribe for more videos on art, design, and creativity. See you in the next video!